Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I have a small haul. Like there's not too many things, but it is all things that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I don't even think I went to Marshall's and got anything. It's all from a couple TJ Maxx stores that I went to and I was very excited about what I found. I've seen so many good things that people have been finding at TJ Maxx and Marshall's and I feel like I find occasional good things, but never like as good of the things as I see on Instagram and stuff, or even in hauls like Leah Janae, if you follow her, her TJ Maxx stores are insane. Anyway, I have posted a couple of things of what I found uh, that I haven't purchased on my Instagram. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, please do consider following me there. There is a link down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video and let me know what are some of the things that you found recently when you have been out shopping. We're going to start with some candles. I have these two right here. These are uh, from DW Home and you know, one of these candles I have burned, not these, but I got the strawberry one of this back in January, early January. And so I, I was been kicking myself that I didn't get the melon or the lemon. These are like half the size of the strawberry one, but I still think they're so cute and they have like the little cans on the top. So they look like an actual can of soda. These were $5.99. I wish I knew what the scent notes were. They don't really give you scent notes, unfortunately. But it says always fresh soda pop fizz, uh, original and refreshing. Anyway, not not too bad. And then I also got the lemon one. It's a lemon splash. And yeah, I'm happy to have them. I don't know if I'll burn them or not, but I was really excited just to have them because I thought they were just so cute. And I am I am a soda addict. I know it's not good for me, but I do love soda. A couple other candles that I picked up, I found those in like the checkout line and I found this one with it. This is Tropical Sunset. It is also by DW Home. This one was $4.99. Not as fun of a packaging, I guess. This one smells really nice. It's, you know, it smells very tropical. It doesn't have any citruses to it, but it is just like a very sweet tropical scent. The problem with this one though, I find is I have to be standing directly over it to smell it. Like I will stand over it and kind of go, and that's when I get a whiff of it, but I don't get anything else otherwise. So this is the first one I pour, I have burned from DW Home and I'm very disappointed in it. I hope that some of the other ones are better, which is also part of the reason why I don't care if I burn those other ones because I just thought they were pretty. But this one was super disappointing. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm disappointed that it's so light. The final candle is also DW Home. This is Strawberry Shortcake. They did have like fresh picked strawberries as well. I thought the packaging on this was just so nice with the flowers on, or not the flowers, the strawberries on the side. This was $7.99. It ha does have a glued on uh, raffia, I think it's raffia ribbon, and then it has a wooden lid. This does smell very much like Strawberry Shortcake little less strawberry than shortcake, but this is the first bakery type scent that I haven't felt nauseated when I open it. Like you just feel like a wave of illness. I really like this one. It smells so authentic to me. So I was drawn to this candle because of the packaging, but I really love the scent as well. And I hope it burns nicely. I'm not really sure how it will burn, but I thought for $7.99 it was worth it. And I liked this one better than the fresh picked strawberries. But I, I've been finding a lot of candles. I didn't buy too many because I bought so many candles at Bath and Body Works lately, but there was just a couple that I wanted to try. A clearance find I found is these Kitsch scrunchies. These are were $4 on clearance. Now I will say about these, I love these. I have uh, some that I got in my lucky bag last year, not this year's, but last year's. And I really enjoyed them, but they stretch out and then they uh, like, they don't work as well after they've stretched out cause they just don't keep your hair up quite as well. But I was happy to find a couple more cause these retail for $19, I want to say. So they're like $10 a piece, $2 for a scrunchie is much more acceptable to me. So if you see these, I think they're, I think they're really good. And I would totally, uh, I would totally recommend them if you don't 
like if you like to air dry your hair or you take a shower at night and you put your hair up in a bun, th these are great. I put them on at night and just let them soak up extra water while I sleep. This was my last trip to TJ Maxx and I saw these and I just couldn't resist. They had a third one, but the sprayer was missing on the third one. So I didn't get it because um, I, while they're cheap, I don't wanna get a perfume that I don't have a way of spraying or I have to buy a separate part for. And they probably would have given me 10% off, but you know, 10% off of $14.99 isn't that great of a deal. I bought them solely because I thought they were just so pretty. Uh, these are what they look like. These are by Tabitha Webb. They're, she seems to have a set of them. They were on sale at Superdrug. I did some little research for, on these. So the pink one is called Hope. I just loved that it was a rainbow shape. I just thought they were super cute. I can't find them on Fragrantica. I'm not really sure about them other than the original one, which is the third one I saw there, was sold at Superdrug and it's like 14, I mean 25 pounds or something. And then they were donating part of that to charities. But I wasn't sure that they sold them in the US. I've only seen them on like social media or like eBay and stuff. But she does have a scent that is for sale through Avon, which I thought was interesting. And Tabitha Webb is apparently a British designer. So if you were in the UK, you probably have heard of her more so than us over here in the States. This doesn't smell the best. It has a very artificial kind of almost plasticky note, which I'm not a big fan of. I feel like this reminds me of like Kool-Aid mixed with pop by Stella McCartney, which sounds really terrible. But like I said, I wanted the bottles for them. I don't think this one is the best scent, but I am happy that I picked it up because the bottles just make me happy and I think they'll be really cute to display. The other one I got is called, what is this one called? Iridescent. And this one I did see, there's a quick video on Facebook by Tabitha Webb. So if you Google Iridescent or uh, Tabitha Webb, I did see a little clip on this one and it was supposed to have like water lily and mandarin in it if i remember right i like this one much more it doesn't have that plasticky um kind of synthetic note to it it's still pretty sweet and just not really something i would so much wear and i really like the sweet but it's 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 kind of sickly there's something about both of them maybe it's a little it has like a synthetic green note to it so I'm not a huge fan of this one either but like I said I loved the bottles and that's why I picked them up because I thought they were very cute but definitely smell them in store before you buy them I didn't spray either of them because I think it's really rotten when people open up packages and chest out the makeup or the perfume or spray perfumes like would you want somebody to do that to your perfume that you're gonna that you're gonna buy no so why would you do it to something that somebody else is gonna buy so Yes, I didn't spray them. I did take the cap off and try to give a, get a sniff, but there's only so much you can tell from that. I didn't like, I sprayed both of them on my wrists last night and I was not feeling it. I, I felt a little sick and I think it was probably more the plasticky note than this one, but I will test them eventually and um, they'll show up at some point in a video, maybe a year from now, who knows. We're finishing off with makeup and I found some kind of cool stuff. I was kind of shocked by what I found. The first one I'm actually wearing on my eyes today, it is from KVD Beauty. Uh, this is the Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette. This was $14.99 as you can tell. And I, I looked at the colors on the back and I was like, okay, that looks kind of nice. I had seen one that had been opened and I was like, mm. and then I found it at another store and it looked like it hadn't been touched. And when I I opened it to look at it. I don't touch them. I just make sure that there's no fingerprints in them. Uh, it looked untouched too. So I decided to pick it up. I have tried out um, all of the shades in here and I, it's going to be in my next palette roundup. Okay, this is the fourth look I've done with it. I meant to use the black. I forgot to use the black, but I've used all the other colors and I quite, I quite enjoy it. It's an interesting color story. I love the artwork on it. I think the artwork is really cool and the, that was part of the reason why I got it. So yeah, $14.99, not too bad. Let me give you a couple swatches. I'll give you uh, two mattes and two swir uh, shimmers, not two swirls. So that black, it feels sticky. 
that is really weird like it when I put it on my skin okay it, it feels better now but it felt like it was sticky and I don't know why um, but that's what the swatches look like I was pretty happy to find this one um, it wasn't something that I would have probably picked up otherwise let me know if you've purchased anything since Kat Von D has left KVD beauty this is my first thing that I've gotten next up I was super excited to find these actually I guess I did get one of these at teach at Marshall's I picked up two of the give by Gwen Stefani palettes they were both $9.99 and they're normally like $29 I had a hard time because I was trying to remember which ones I had, uh, what they were called, because they're all, you know, named after her songs. So this is Simple Kind of Life. We have four very neutral, very light shades. I don't think this is going to be one that I wear all that much. This is like accent type of palette, like, you know, what I'm wearing in my brow bone kind of thing. Yeah, so Simple Kind of Life, not my favorite. We will swatch them really fast. I don't know if I'll swatch the next one because the next one is one that I couldn't tell if it had been swatched or not, but I thought this was before I found a whole bunch of them at TJ Maxx and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sterilize it no matter what and I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so that's what the four shades look like. They're a little deeper than I thought. Maybe I could make a look out of them. They just seem so light, but that is simple kind of life. The other one I picked up is Danger Zone. This is the one I found at Marshall's. This was the only one they had there. They had a whole bunch more at TJ Maxx when I went there like a week later. So that's why I got this one when I did because I didn't know if I would see any more. I don't... There's two things that are making me kind of feel like somebody stuck their finger in it. So this is what Danger Zone looks like. and I don't know if you can see. Uh, there's like a little scratch in it on this one and then this one looks like it might have uh, a fingerprint in it so like I said I'm going to sterilize this one I need to get another spray bottle because I left my alcohol spray bottle I don't know what I did with it uh, so I need to get another little spray bottle for alcohol so that I can spray it down but so forgive me for not swatching it I just I, I don't want to contaminate contaminate it or contaminate the next palette this is the final thing in the haul, and I'm so excited about this one. I was very shocked when I saw it. Uh, I was kind of just looking, and it was on its side, and I was like, mm, I think that's a, is it? Um, and then I pulled it out, and it was. I was surprised to find it. I, this is one that I wasn't going to buy. It was way too expensive. Even when I've seen it on sale, has been way too expensive for me. But this price was more reasonable, so I decided to get it. Um, is it the best? I don't know. I have heard not great reviews on it compared to other products from the house, but we'll see. I did see th when I went into TJ Maxx, the same store uh, a couple days ago, which was like a week later, they had a couple more of these and I couldn't tell if they had been opened. I know this one had been opened, but it didn't look like it had been touched. Anyway, this is Pat McGrath. So I saw this and I was like, mm, that looks like... And it was just, you know, it had things in front of it, behind it, and it was just upright. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana. Uh, the holiday palette, it was $34.99. I did not need to spend $35 on this, that's for sure. Uh, as you can see, like, they bent in, this is always a telltale sign, is that they bent those in instead of, you know, making sure that it goes back the way it's supposed to. This is what the palette looks like, same as the packaging. It has the sticker on the back with all of the shade names. It has the car cover still intact and then all of the shades. And like I said, they did not look touched at all. So I was very excited about that. There is a crazy mix of colors in here. You have like the gold flaky, you got some of the shimmers, you got some of the mattes. To me, my favorite part of Pat McGrath is the mattes. Like the shimmers to me are not my favorite. And then it does have like the little strings on it so that it will stay open. Let's let's swatch a few. We're gonna do the purple. Oh, that feels so so nice. Um, we'll do this one. Oh, that feels like a good shimmer. Let's see. Um, we'll do this green. Oh, that was super soft. We'll do this gold flaky as well. You know what? I'm gonna swatch four more. 
So first off, the shimmers I think are really nice. I am impressed. These are better shimmers than I've seen in some of the other pats, but um, at least they're, they feel more malleable, which I, I enjoy in a shimmer. And but they have so much fallout. Like I've been blowing on them, and I don't even know if you can see, but it just they're they're very uh, they stand out. They have extra stuff on them. So see, I just blew off more. So there they are. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes feel really nice and soft. I'm worried about that navy, but I'm hoping that it will blend out and work a little bit better. But I know this one got some bad reviews, but I'm actually really excited to play with this. And oh, I had all of my like stuff planned out for my next palette review. And now, now I'm feeling like, oh, I just got something on it. Um, now I'm feeling like maybe I should do this one instead. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. That's it for this haul. I tried to make it short, but then I, I like to chat. So let me know if you found anything interesting at TJ Maxx or Marshalls lately. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you next time.